Hi, and welcome to Pokemon The Ultimate Experience, part one. Well, I like Pokemon because it's fun to play. These things will be worth something in a few years, and it's just a good way to have fun. What's your favorite Pokemon character right now? Um, there's one called Sandshrew. It evolves into Sand um, Slash. He's like, he digs, he's like a little mouse or something. I like the bee drill. Uh, it flies around, it has like a poison stinger, and it pokes people with spears. You have to have 60 Pokemon cards to make a deck, and you kind of create your own to battle. Right, see, you, but you get the, the, uh, the packs that you buy. You can buy a deck, but they prearrange those. But when you create your own deck, it means you go into battle with your own set group of Pokemon to do what you want them to do when you need them to do it. Are you feeling uh, the pressure here, or are you, are you coasting along well and you're, and you're up? Well, I beat him uh, two out of three games yesterday, so I, I feel pretty confident today that I can take him down. You know, I've been playing Pokemon for about three weeks, and that, that's pretty short time to get uh, to the semifinals, and I'm very nervous of who I'm going to face, because I know I'm going to lose. If I was going to advise somebody to get into the whole Pokemon craze, uh, I would tell them to have fun. Don't get too into it, because then it's scary. Don't like think about Pokemon all the time, but like, you know, have fun with it, trade, you know, just take it how it comes, you know, just go with the flow. The thing I love best about this is, especially with the younger kids, it gives us a, a way to connect. It gives me and Andrew a chance to hang out today, be a part of the tournament, and things we can do together. When we get so into the video games, it's between them and the TV, this is us. You know what I mean? And it's great. And uh, I mean, the athletic stuff is fine, but this is strategizing, it's talking, it's, um, it's, it's just a, it's a nice way to bond and connect. When we come back, what all the fuss is about, at least to the eight-year-old set in this country. And I took that personally. I've increased our Pikachu levels. Over nine thousand. <laughs> Hello, my little pineapple chunks. I hope you are doing very well. I am surrounded by Pikachu's right now. It's actually a little bit scary. This one doesn't look right. Uh, neither does this one. Okay, <laughs> I promise. That's not what you think it is. Okay, it's it's a hand. It's the pause. I am so excited for today's video because well. Let me just show you. Pokemon has sent this behemoth of a box, this ginormous 14 pound box right here. Ooh, so nice. It says train on, get your gains on. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a giant. Ah! smells like corn. <laughs> Ahead of the highly anticipated launch, please enjoy an assortment of Celebrations products, which begin launching globally on October 8th, 2021. We'd love to stay in touch as Pokemon continues its year-long celebration, so don't hesitate to reach out. <gasps> That's so cute! Oh, I appreciate this so much. Look at that cute little Pikachu adding to our little collection today. Still doesn't have anything on our angry Pikachu. Ah! Okay, let's open this box. I wonder if I can actually put this on my overhead cam. This was outside of the box, but this was also sent by Pokemon. I'm still not sure what I want to actually open today. Ah! But yes, this box is also absolutely gorgeous. I'm so excited we got this promo because at first we thought it was only going to be a Japanese promo, but they ended up sending it as a promo in this box. So if you're unfamiliar with what Celebrations is, it's a set that's geared toward collectors and toward players as well. There's a lot of retro cards being reprinted, a lot of cards that were heavily important in Pokemon TCG that were heavily played with, uh, that were game changing to Pokemon that are also going to be able to be pulled out of these packs. This is our first box. Let's see what else we have. We have a tin 
here that has the promo card Dark Sylveon, which already looks super sweet. I also love how they just have all the starters as well. Oh my gosh, we have the Celebrations ETB. This is the Elite trainer box so it's like your traditional uh etbs but just for this set it comes with 10 celebrations packs and the promo like specialty etbs usually do but it also has five extra standard uh packs in this i think these are all standard i'm pretty sure all standard five additional uh pokemon packs too Oh snap, we have our Pokemon Lunchable right here. Yo, this is probably my my favorite Pokemon Lunchbox. I usually like to get at least one of the Lunchbox tins just because I think they're cute. I'm kind of hoarding them. Don't, uh, don't judge me, okay? Very nice. And this comes with the cute little mini binder, the notepad, the stickers, the packs, the promo cards. This is going to be a really great one to open. I don't think Pokemon has ever sent this much stuff out to their creators and this is so awesome thank you so much look at this the jumbo card the dark sylveon v jumbo card you know what this reminds me of like the cute little sylveon right here like eh, i'm so cute and then this one's like no talk me angry <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I think about when I see this is that meme. That is so funny. Deluxe pin collection. Holy guacamole. You know I love pins. So, ooh, this is so sweet too. It comes with the Zacian level X card as well. That's another really cool thing about the cards and these boxes and the promos is these are all like older mechanics. Like I said, that were, uh, making huge waves in Pokemon, playing Pokemon back when they were a thing. So it's really cool to see like an old mechanic with a Zacian, which is a new Pokemon, a new card. Um, I really, really like that actually. I cannot believe we have 14 pounds of Pokemon here in this box. Oh my goodness, look at this coin. Oh, look at that coin. Dragapult. Prime. Oh, snap. So this is the promo card. This is representing Prime cards. So this is Dragapult Prime in that very distinct uh, card design, which is very, very nice. Like that, that hollow border is so pretty. Oh, that is super nice. Celebrate a Dragapult in its prime. This is a young little chap ready to take on the world. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, increasing our Pikachu count. Oh! Every Pikachu that has been printed over 25 years. Absolutely gorgeous. Holy smokes. So, of course, we have the Jumbo card. And then right here is the actual Pikachu V Union. Uh, that is a playable card. Or should I say card... I, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> these are playable cards, which is so funny and so cool at the same time. Four promo cards and one giant Pikachu V Union. Perfect. And that is it from our ginormous box. I'm definitely keeping this box. This is a keeper. I like the box. It's very nice. I like boxes. But I just wanted to say thank you so much to Pokemon for including me in on this giant celebration of Pokemon over 25 years. Uh, you know, I'm someone that's somewhat new, if you all don't know me. Um, I'm someone new to the hobby. I got into it early 2019 and I started playing and I just fell in love with the trading card game of Pokemon and collecting cards as well. But I'm sure you've all heard it before, the people who are like, you don't know Pokemon, you know, you haven't been opening or been involved in the hobby since like day one. Kind of write you off. It really means a lot to me that uh, Pokemon included me in on this because I just wanted to be known for anyone who is looking to get into Pokemon. Pokemon or is somewhat new to the hobby that there is in fact a place for you in this hobby and you can have so much fun collecting or playing uh, and hopefully you see that in my content and this video today. Thank you so much to Pokemon again. I appreciate you including me. It really means a lot to me. So thank you. Thank you. For this video, we are going to kick off our celebrations celebration with this uh, elite trainer box. 
So let's get into this, baby. I think this is probably the best right now. Best way to really jump into the set. Wow, this is super nice. Train on. Oh no, sadly it's it's kind of scuffed up top there. That's kind of a bummer. But on the sides, it looks super, super nice. And then of course we have our set list in here as well. So what's really cool about these cards, the ones that actually have the Celebrations set logo, which looks like this, um, is as long as they have the D and the E regulation marks, which I think these are all E's, uh, you can actually play it in the standard format for the 2022 season of Pokemon. So these are playable cards. They're not just uh, reprints of cards that you actually can't play. And then of course we have the uh, the retro cards that we see here. These are going to be reprints of cards that's just kind of celebrating 25 years of Pokemon. Here we go, getting into this ETB. We have the divider here, which always matches the artwork. We have a little booklet explaining the rules of Pokemon TCG. If you want to take a look, learn how to play. <gasps> Is that Papa Chinchilla? That's Papa Chinchilla, eh? <laughs> <laughs> We've got beautiful card dividers with the gorgeous Pikachu tail rocking it on there. I like this. It's such a simplistic design, but it's very iconic as well. The designer's like, all right, squiggles. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's literally just a line. It's so simple. But like I said, it's iconic. You know that's a Pikachu tail. So very nice. Very. Oh, snap. Look at that. Wow, we got sleeves. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. The dice of my dreams. <gasps> this is like my favorite color, yellow. Oh, oh my gosh, it's clear with yellow. Oh, wow, these are super nice. These are probably my favorite dice yet from Sword and Shield. And the white with the red is so nice. It's like a premier ball. It's like a Pokeball. That's very, very nice. Oh my gosh. And here we go. Oh, the Greninja Gold Star card. Wow. The Gold Star cards are pretty iconic cards. I think most people know uh, what they are. This Greninja is like next level. Oh, it seriously looks three-dimensional. It looks like it's popping off of the card. I'm gonna have to find a way to actually display all these promo cards because these are just too pretty. Too pretty. All right, so we have our 10 celebrations packs. These come with four cards in them each, but first we are gonna go through our sword and shield packs here. From uh, oldest to newest, I guess, is how we will go. Interesting that it includes two Darkness Ablaze. For some reason, I would kind of expect a Sword and Shield base set pack, but I guess it's going to be Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, Darkness Blaze, Vivid Voltage. So I guess we shall go in that order. Let's do it. Darkness Ablaze, the set I tried so hard to pull a full art Crobat. And I never did. I never did pull that card. Sadness. Phoebus Passimian Heatran Reverse Hollow Rare. That is sweet. And a Melmetal Non Holographic. I'm kind of curious what is your favorite Sword and Shield set so far uh, out of all of them? Ooh, Fist Bump Energy Baby. Familiar Bell Rose Tower. I feel like mine would probably be. I don't know, maybe Vivid Voltage. Reverse Hollow Bunnelby from Mad Party. LSD Bunnelby, baby. And <laughs> oh my gosh. Pulling a secret rare out of our Darkness Ablaze packs. The deck I tried to make work for so long, but I could never make it work. Ugh, this card was so bomb when it first came out because it was like one of the first beefy 320 HP VMAX Pokemon. Uh, Sonic Double did 40 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, and then you could also play like powerful energy with this to kind of beef it up a little bit more as well. And then the Max Wings for 240. Uh, four energy required, but there were ways that you could kind of accelerate that back then. Now, not really. Um, 
<laughs> this would be a little bit difficult to actually play, which is why this little Sally doesn't really see much play because the energy cost is just too high, which is such a bummer because I really do like this card. Well, I did not uh, expect a secret rare out of one of these packs. <laughs> that is for sure. But I guess Celebrations is bringing us some luck today. I mean, you can pull anything out of these packs. I'm not really sure how they're like balanced. So that always makes me think they are not balanced. They're just totally random. So you could get horrible packs, like all green packs, nothing out of them. Or you could just pull secret rares out of all of them, which is so cool. Oh, it's my favorite Slugma card. Country Roads Slugma. Such a cutie. Veldem, <laughs> Milk Ball, Weedle. I miss this set so much. Vivid Voltage. Ugh, I love it. Reverse Hole Weedle and a Samurott. <laughs> I remember seeing this and being like, what is this? It's actually kind of cool opening this uh, set so far and just thinking about like 25 years of Pokemon and I've only been around Pokemon for a couple of years and just seeing you know, looking back at my older videos versus now and seeing the growth in not only my content, but my knowledge of Pokemon and my passion for Pokemon as well. It's just, it's really cool. It's got me in my feels, you know what I mean? <laughs> it really does. Like, Pokemon has been so meaningful in my life uh, lately. The last couple of years, it's meant so much to me. So this is kind of like... Oh, dang, I wish I could stop pulling Salazzles though, not gonna lie. I feel like there's 20 Salazzles in like every set I pull. <laughs> reverse holo, at least it's a reverse holo rare Salazzle. We gotta do it, ready, ready, ready. Salazzle! <laughs> and a Lorantis, non-holographic. Oh, this just makes me miss opening these sets. And these aren't even like old sets. These are um, sets that are still in standard format, but I feel like I haven't gone back and opened some of these sets in a hot minute. So we should definitely do that because I miss pulling these Pokemon so much. Alrighty, this is our last pack here and this is Chilling Rain. So a somewhat updated set here. I really, really hope we pull that Mew somewhere in these products. I am so excited. Survivor, little snacky, and a Gallade non-holographic. Alrighty, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Opening some celebrations packs. Whoa. It is weird opening a pack that is so thin. <laughs> I don't know if there is a card trick to this. Um, wow, that is a pretty card. Holographic Zekrom. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Holographic Ho-Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Beautiful. So pretty. <gasps> this Kyogre. Yo, this artwork is sweet. That is super nice. Kyogre. That is our third card, so this one should be our last card. <laughs> No way. I seriously almost put this as my goal. I, I, I feel like I say this every time, but I really almost put this as my goal card because this is Professor's Research, so it plays the same as the other Professor's Research that we currently play very heavily in like every single deck. That's not gonna go away anytime soon. And I just thought, you know, the Professor Oak version of this is just absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And we just pulled the full art. Professor's Research in our first Celebrations pack. Are you serious? Wow, that is so gorgeous. I'm sure we will most likely be playing this baby in a deck. It is cut beautifully as well. Like, look at that cut. That is very, very nice. These cards are just so beautiful. They are gorgeous. The hollows on them. Well, this one's actually really difficult to tell that it's a hollow, but it is indeed a hollow. You see that shine? That is a, that is a hollow Evital, a hollow Xerneas. Oh, snap. That is a pretty card right there. Another hollow Ho-Oh as well. I really like this artwork. It kind of reminds me of Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, pack art, which is really pretty. And last card here. <laughs> We got the Pikachu as well. The cards I was looking forward to the most. We just pulled out of our first two packs. Look at this beautiful artwork. Pikachu, 
with the cute little Pokemon in the background. It has kind of like a sheen hollow over it too. And you can't really tell until you like tilt it and you're like, oh yeah, that is hollow. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is a new one for us, Dialga. Another Yvetal as well. A Cosmog. <laughs> Yo, what is this artwork? Oh my gosh, we have the Lily's Pokey doll and little Nevi. Little Nevi. Oh, that's so cute. That's what they name the little Cosmog in uh, the anime. They call him Nebby because he's like a little Nebula. <laughs> so cute. And ooh, baby, the Zamazenta V. I was so excited to see this. They made Zacian a psychic and Zamazenta a fighting, which I was like, what? That's so weird, but I guess it kind of makes sense. Spice it up since they can't uh, Dynamax or Gigantamax or anything. Uh, it makes them a little bit more unique, I suppose, than just being metal doggos. Growl of the shield. All of your fighting Pokemon take 20 less damage. No, no, and this is an ability as well. So it's not like fighting Pokemon <coughs> Urshifu <coughs> needed any more help here uh, in standard format. So that's kind of unfortunate. 20 less damage from opponents of VMAX. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So that's... Even more of a way to buff your fighting Pokemon, which is kind of rough. And then heavy impact for three for 150. So you're most likely never going to be using the heavy impact move. It's just not good. It's so much energy for only 150 damage. But that ability is really what is the game changer for this card. You can just toss this baby on your bench and then all of a sudden all of your fighting Pokemon. So if you're playing a fighting deck, um, take 20 less damage from VMAX. We still have several packs left to open here, which is pretty awesome. That's one thing that's really cool about specialty sets. It's always like, I don't know, it's always hype opening them for some reason. Oh, I was about to do the card trick. There is no card trick. Don't forget, boo, no card trick, okay? <laughs> um, it's always just exciting opening specialty sets uh, because there's just a little surprise in every, in every pack. It's just very, it's a different feeling, especially one, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness, especially one that is celebrating uh, 25 years of Pokemon. Rockets Admin Holographic. That is super, super nice. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then, of course, the holographic Solgaleo as well from this pack. Oh, such a cute artwork with Lily in the back there as well. But, like, low-key, I'm kind of more excited about the Rockets admin in this bowl. <laughs> this is so nice. I'm a huge sucker for, like, old uh, trainer cards, supporter cards. I think they're just really nice looking. I like checking out those babies. And they just nailed this holographic, it is so pretty. You gotta be careful when you stack up these cards or like group them together because they are all holographic cards. So you have to make sure you don't scrape up the hollows if you're trying to keep them in pristine condition. The hollows are very easy to, uh, to mess up when you're opening. Uh, I'm not one of those people that's like, it has to be maximum quality. I don't really mind very much, so I'm not really a card grader. So look at this Lugia. Holy guacamole, that is so pretty. This Lugia. Oh, I really like that artwork as well. And then, yo, the, the mini, the baby professor's research as well. Wow, I really like this card too because he's like popping out of the artwork. That is so nice, and writing on the card itself, it's just really sick. Uh, you don't see many cards that are like this. I don't think I've ever seen a card like this, actually. So that is really, really nice. Yo, I am so happy we pulled this Flirt Professor's Research. That That is goals right there. That is absolutely goals. Man, we keep starting with this Dialga. I mean, I'll take it. Cosmoum here, sleeping <gasps> next to Lily, wow. That's cute. That is so adorable. And then we got the Cosmog to match as well. Throwing a little a little tantrum here. And then another Solgaleo holographic with that beautiful Lily. Man, this was just like the Lily pack here. That is three cards we got with Lily on it. I'm a huge Lily fan. I really liked Lily. I uh, played Lily pretty heavily when I first got into playing 
Pokemon, and then her card, like, rotated out, which was kind of sad. I don't really like Lily as much. Man, two more Lilies in the anime for some reason. I think I was expecting her to be a certain way, and then I watched the anime with her in it, and I was like, what? Like, I don't know. Her personality just didn't match what I expected it to be. Holy smokerolies, my favorite starter here. Little Squirtle War Turtle into Blasty Boy. Blasty Boy, it is not my favorite Blastoise, which is the powerful Squall team up Blastoise. But look at this. Oh, what a throwback here. Very, very beautiful Blastoise <laughs> into a flying Pikachu as well. Let's check these two babies out. Obviously, this Blastoise is just absolutely gorgeous. I actually do collect uh, Squirtle cards, so this will probably go straight into that binder with my Squirtles and War Turtles and Blastoise as well. And then the Flying Pikachu V. I said I was going to make a deck with this just because I love the card, but I don't think it would be a good deck is all I have to say. I don't know. Let's see. Thundershock, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. For 20, okay, and then fly, flip a coin if tails, this attack does nothing. If heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage. Oh, snap. From the effects of attacks done to this one. Oh, wow, so it's not even prevent damage from attacks. It's only prevent damage from all effects of attacks. Wow, that's pretty bad, if I'm reading that correctly. <laughs> the cut on this is beautiful, though. There is very little whitening. I think there's like one little speck and that's about it, which is actually kind of like night and day from the quality that I've seen in Pokemon the last couple of months. So this is really, really promising for the sets and I just can't get over this Blastoise. That is a beautiful card. We are making out like bandits in the celebrations opening right now. These are all cards that I I love, I, I enjoyed. I was so excited to see. I mean, this is a very small set, so, of course, if you open enough product, you're going to see most of these cards. But I am very, very happy with our pulls so far. And the artworks on these cards are just beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Another one. Here we go. The basic full art Pikachu. All right. This is our second to last pack here. And, oh, starting out with a Reshiram as well to match the Zekrom we had earlier. I love uh, this art style. They are so beautiful. I'm throwback on this card. It is very gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Here we go. See them side by side. Wow, that could not have been more perfect. Restaurant and the Zekrom as well. The Dawn Fan! The Dawn Fan Prime! Oh my goodness! Yes! And then on the back, oh wow, there's so many lilies in this set. I didn't even realize. Lunala and the lily in the background with the Dawn Fan Prime. Wow, that is super nice. You know, I actually feel like this set wouldn't be too bad to complete through trading. Like if you have a ton of friends who are also getting this set, I'm sure we're all gonna have tons of duplicates. So make sure you reach out, trade some cards, finish the set if that is your desire. <laughs> all right, Lugia, Cosmoem again. And our last card for this video, Oh, snap! Yes! Okay, low-key, I said this is probably one of the cutest cards. I actually think I like Surfing Pikachu more. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just got Flying Pikachu and Surfing Pikachu. <laughs> Look at these two cuties. I can't believe we pulled them both in our first opening. That is so, so awesome. I was really excited to see these in person. They're just so cute. And it's really cool seeing, I, I mean, Surfing Pikachu with the surf move as well. All right, those are our polls. I am super happy with this. I think my favorite is still probably this professor's research. I was just so looking forward to pulling this card, to seeing this card in person. I also just like full art trainers quite a bit there. So I'm very excited about that. And then of course the two Pikachus as well. Uh, well, sorry, I should say four Pikachus here. Four Pikachus, I can't believe it. And that Zamazenta V is also pretty hype too for actually playing with. So that is awesome. 
I am so happy with this opening. Penny has joined us to lurk like a creeper back there. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much, everybody who watched this video. Uh, if you are just stumbling upon the channel, you don't know me from anywhere else. Hello, nice to meet you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. It was so cool seeing this set for the first time. We have tons more videos to get through, uh, opening up these products, doing some giveaways, right? Thank you to my patrons as always, and happy 25th anniversary of Pokemon. I hope you all have amazing luck in your pulls, and I will catch you in the next video. See ya. <laughs>